tell your skaters when they're doing drills, lead with your hands and your head, right? Same thing with both hands. Okay, so that's the first one. Back and forth, okay? They can do 10 total, five each way, as many as they want, okay? Nice and collected. You can see on the bottom, and uh, the towel side there, you know, a progression is if they want to drop, okay? So if they feel comfortable, they're bored with that, okay? So, move, and snap down, okay? Down, recover, down, okay? Just to mix it up a little bit. Next one, okay, low to high. Working on puck on the goal line, okay? So, goalie's eyes are low, leading, head, eyes, okay? Low. Hands and eyes, leading, okay? Feet are underneath them, okay? I know at higher levels, it's harder to score, so guys are constantly trying to put the puck low and get it out front, okay? They can get out there quick and set better, okay? We're gonna sound more pucks. So that's kind of uh, simulating that. And the progression would be to drop in the middle there, okay? You cover your feet. And the next one, just kind of like an X, okay? Post, out, backside, pass simulating, okay? Base point to point, back down low. Simulating maybe some in zone play, okay? Here, out, cross, back to pull. That's continuous, okay? So then it's just back here now, cross, back, okay? Excuse my speed. So those would be the three movement drills. Again, at the bottom there, they can drop on top if they want, okay? <coughs> So if, uh, if there's a drill going on, on down there and you got a coach or maybe if you're players or something you're not utilizing, okay? These are some drills you can do just with one shooter and a goalie. So everybody's done this one and seen this one. Just a pile of pucks out there, okay? Just working, hands, if you want to do just glove, okay? Do five to 10, just glove, okay? Making sure that goalie is really over-exaggerating, locking in and getting that forehead on. You'll see a lot of boys that are just going to try and nonchalant, okay? It's really important to build that good muscle memory, those good habits, okay? Walker, watching it into the equipment and watching it off. Getting that good habit, so if there is a bad rebound, they're tracking it, they're locked on, they can see what the threat is and they're processing it quicker, okay? And then you can work stick, kick, and even just chest and body. I feel like that's super underrated. Everyone's like, why well, don't I want to shoot their chest? Why don't I want to shoot their chest? There's a lot of goalies, even at high levels, that have a really difficult time retaining pucks off their body. And there's tons of goals that can be prevented because of it. Okay. All right, so that's the one. The next one is a two shot drill, okay? Still just need one shooter though, so pucks up there. Sorry, I'm going to go back really quick. So that warm up or whatever, a lot of times you'll see guys right here. Okay. A lot of guys do this like before a game too, right? We see that. And guys are firing pucks right here. Like it's really hard to get into a groove and track pucks from right here, okay? Make sure you're stepping out a little bit so they have time to just watch it. It's not a goal scoring drill, it's warming up those eyes for the goalie. Make sure they have plenty of time to pick up, track it, okay? So same with this one, you can maybe keep in a, a touch, but just work one side at a time. So say we're gonna work we're gonna do six reps to your left, okay? So first shot is on my left side, so your right side. Down, preferably getting a stick on it, okay? It's not gonna be perfect. The boy won't always be able to get a stick on it, so they need a good pad to direct that puck, okay? Trying to keep puck in the corner. That shot, I track it, I rotate. I'm set on the puck, okay? Then I'm coming back to middle. <laughs> shot for retainment or you can shoot to score, okay? So two shots, only need one shooter, okay? So shot, rebound, make sure they're tracking it to their feet, okay? You guys are gonna see it a lot. Goalies watch NHL goalies and it's, there's NHL goalies that can push from here, get to a good post jam there, okay? You can't do it at this level and it's just lazy. A lot of guys are just trying to slide around from every angle, okay? Especially in drills. Force them to get up, get to their feet, okay? 
They're going to have better edge work for you, right? Just watch them do that. Okay, last one here. You just work one side at a time. So just post, post, and then here. I'll go, I'll go from right here. So I have a pile of pucks right there. Okay, post, post. Every time they're doing a drill with, or simulating a drill, tell them they're kind of visualize what kind of play it would be, okay? So when I'm going post to post, I'm looking behind the net. Like I'm tracking the puck, and then out, shot, okay? The reason I really like this one is because it's, I mean, that's, that's simple. If you think about, think about how wide the net is from right here, right? There's a lot less to shoot at for a shooter. The boys are real self-conscious when it comes to bad angle shots, but how they should play it, if they should stay on the post, or what, and then that's where we see those leaky goals, you know what I mean? So we can prevent that by making them get these reps, making them feel comfortable, okay? If the shot right there, it's tricky because goalie will tend to want to push out, right, and giving up short side. So they have to find a way to be here, a little bit of an overlap, and then understanding how big their body is for this angle, okay? Just pepper them with pucks. Make sure they're not overreacting with their hands, okay? I get this with a lot of guys, but shoot out my blocker, they're doing this. It's like, well, you don't need to worry about steering your rebound because it's, it almost stays still if it hits you, it's gonna go in the corner anyway, right? But if you overextend, that's when you get those leaky goals, okay? So, Nothing crazy, but just working on being efficient, feeling good, understanding how much uh, net they take up in certain situation, situations, excuse me. And then, I mean, don't be afraid to try some stuff too, guys, right? But at the same time, I know I learned, I learned these movement drills from my goalie coach, and he makes, uh, he makes American League goalies do this every single day, all year. So, I mean, if they get bored with it, just tell them it's, it's building them up. All three of them touch, touch on a lot of uh, important simulations that they'll see throughout the game. Okay? Any questions with that? Okay. I have a question. So one thing I don't understand is what a 